the breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Fabio Maldonado is appealing Fedor Emelianenko's Russian Union decision. This is the breaking news. This right here is the breaking news. This is big, ladies and gentlemen. You might not know what EFN 50 was before. You might have forgot about Fedor, or you might not even know who Fedor is, but he had a controversial fight with Fabio Malinato, EFN 50. It was a fight where Fedor got countered right, short right, dropped Fedor, put, put him in all kinds of trouble. The man was doing a stinky lay, doing a stinky lay, doing a stinky lay. This guy, I don't he he was doing all kinds of dances. I don't even know the name of them all. He was doing the you, but he got a, a majority decision. First time I thought it was Maldonado. Second time I can I got it a draw. Okay, I'm being nice. And I said that in the video, you know, things happen so fast. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give him a draw. Fedor was on the verge of defeat. He has, uh, Fedor still got heart to come back, but we're finding out the judges was assigned by the Russian Union. Wow, you didn't know that, huh? So people say they don't want banks. They want me to cover so much. People send me so many stories. I just, I can't do them all. But you know, MMA, I love MMA and boxing. So I try to do. The ones I can. We revealed the UFC. It's been so. We revealed George St. Pierre signed a contract. Now some people say, well, what? Where, where are your sources? Well, my sources is Google. Look it up. And I'm able to decipher through the words and what people say and through different, different people talk. You know, they talk online. I don't got to call anybody. I just go by the stories that I know are credible. And I say I'm right a high percent chance at a time. The only time you really will see that I might be wrong is like predictions because I can't make anybody go out there and fight. Fedor was supposed to crush Maldonado. But what happened? Fedor made a mistake throwing looping wide shots. Leaves you open for a counter. Hitting gloves. Okay. That's the kind of stuff that leave you in trouble. And that's why Fedor got rocked. And it messed up his UFC hopes. He's supposed to go. Now, from what it's looking like, Fedor Emelianenko needs to step in the ring with this guy one more time. And if Fedor can't put this guy away, then maybe no UFC. Maybe just keep fighting tomato cans, bums. You know, some people say Maldonado, he's not a bum. You know, I talked to um Tommy from the Bronx. He said he had a draw. And he said um, Maldonado, not a bum. Stipe finished Maldonado in the first round. Um, if I'm going to elevate him from, I say in UFC is a bum. Maybe you're right. Maybe he's not a bum when he goes to other promotions because you know how these these fighters sometimes they come from UFC, they go to other promoters and they get their ass kicked and sometimes they win. Maybe it was his fight. Maybe it was his night. It may be Fedor. Might not be what he was before, but Fedor had judges from the Russian Union. We caught you, Fedor. You got your hand inside the cookie jar. We can see through those eyes. I hope Fedor didn't dope because he didn't even look like he's dope because Fedor doping, Fedor just looked like a regular guy. I don't think he ever did that because I'm trying to figure out how did his reflexes and everything just fade away. Um... Let's go to Maldonado right here, MMA Mania. Not only did Ultimate Fighting Championship light heavyweight slugger Fabio Maldonado have to beat Fedor Emelianenko in the main event of EFN 50, which took place last weekend in St. Petersburg, Russia, he also had to overcome the hometown refs. Good luck with that. Despite kicking the shit out of the last emperor in the opening frame to the point where a 10-8 round seemed like a four foregone conclusion. I they say you can't do 10-7, but that round was so bad, it was ridiculously bad. Really? 
did you hear the fucking commentator? He said, stop the fight. What the hell is going on here? Stop the fight. And he was biased toward Emilienko. He had the, the, the commentator in his back pocket. He's not going to get all this. He goes to the UFC. We saw what happened to Fade Orange Strike Force for Doom. Bigfoot Silva, Dan Hendo Henderson. Oh, what happened to that menacing Fedor and Pride? That's life. One day you're on top. And another minute, a 40-foot drop. Doing the stinky leg. Doing the stinky leg. I'm... I'm sure it's not the surprising when you consider Emilienko is the president of the union of the Russian MMA, the organized the organization charged with selecting event judges and referees. Just imagine if UFC president Dana White started hiring firing judges to suit his needs. Oh, wait. Anyway, Team Maldonado is expected to appeal the decision based on the shenanigans behind the scenes from manager Stefano Sartori via MMA fighting. We're very happy with Fabio's performance. He made everything right inside the cage when our main goal was to show the world the fighter he truly is and what he can do when he's 100% focused. And we did that. But we went there focused on winning and we feel like the judges took that away from us. The promoters didn't agree with the result and most of the fighters who were there also think the result was strange. Round one was clearly a 10-8 for us. Round two, Fedor get a close 10-9, and round three was a very close, but we think Maldonado got the, got the better shots. It was at least a draw, and we will appeal to Russian MMA Union to review this result. I'm sure the same body responsible for last weekend's head scratching, scratching will be eager to set things straight, especially for a Brazilian in Russia. But, hey, that's me, Mr. Optimism. It won't be reversed. These guys were from the Russian Union. It says, the fight was announced as a majority decision for Fedor by renowned Russian announcer Alexander Zagorsky. So, and the crowd left to ponder whether they had just witnessed some predictable shenanigans in St. Petersburg. Several days ahead of the anticipated Fedor versus Maldonado showdown, the Russian MMA union assigned the three judges. They give their names. I don't even feel like going through it because it's so difficult. The announcement came as a surprise to many within the industry. The three officials were Russian natives for a contest that put it a Russian against a Brazilian fighter. Oh, man. Fedor was voted president. <laughs> Fedor surrendered his position as president when he decided to return to professional competition in 2015. Fedor was present at the MMA Championship of Russia, which took place in Orenburg. A Russian MMA Union press release on the event clearly referred to Fedor as the president of the Union of Russian MMA. So the judges... And the referee judges were assigned by the same organization that Fedor is in charge of. The only MMA federation certified by the Ministry of Sports in Russia. So let's read this whole thing so you can understand. Though this does not necessarily suggest that Fedor handpicked the officials himself, it does not insinuate the conflict of interest involved in the main event. The referee and judges were assigned by the same organization that Fedor is in charge of, the only MMA federation certified by the Ministry of Sports. And it said that he was the president of the Union of Russian MMA. So Fedor is in a conflict of interest. He's not going to UFC. This is sad for the once great Fedor. He's been caught. Um, he would have went if he destroyed Maldonado, but now 
I don't even know if Fader will even give this guy another shot or not. It don't even look like he will. But that's the once great Fedor once, I say. I can't believe I'm talking about Fedor like this. For all the Russian fans out there, you know, you can do your own research, but Fedor, that was a draw. You know, Fedor, even though he came back, he showed heart, but it was a draw. He got beat so badly in the first round, it just doesn't even make a sense. He should get a guy a rematch, and then we should find out where Fedor is. I think that should signify where Fedor goes next, a rematch. Because that show he got hard to get in the cage with somebody again, and they got, and that'll show if he belongs in the UFC or not. Win or lose, I'm going to always respect Fedor, but th doing shen shenanigans and having a conflict of interest, I don't respect shit like that. 